Today we have a brand new update when it comes to macOS and if we go into our system settings go to software update right here you can see the version that we are talking about today is 14.3 so it's Sonoma and the update size for me on my MacBook Pro comes in at exactly 1.75 gigs and yes I was updating from macOS 14.2 so since the update size is relatively small it goes to tell us that this update maybe might not have so much going on in the background keep in mind that this is not all that apple released today and in fact if you go to the apple developer page right here you can see some other operating systems that were just released including ios 17.3 ipad os 17.3 mac os 14.3 we also have watch os 10.3 and these are all the first betas i did a video on watch OS right here you can see it right there and I just wanted to as well show you the update size that this software has you can see it it's uh, the download file size is 1.75 gigs so it's pretty close to the the update size and also if you didn't know yesterday Apple released a number of other updates such as Mac OS 14.2 which I covered including watch OS 10.2 so check it out on the channel at halfman half tech i do cover a lot of these videos and if you like what you see definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out so just like that and we are now up to date and if we go into our system settings and go to where it says general and go to software update it's just gonna check for an update real quick but at the same time it's going to reveal our new build number which is 23d 5033f so this build number has an f at the end and in terms of stability f tends to be a little bit on the more stable version or end of it but at the same time it's not one that i would recommend as it's going to be a while before we get another update the next beta will probably come out early january next year so it's going to be a while now when it comes to mac OS storage you can see how much it's taking 19.71 gigs which is pretty much normal now when it comes to some of the new features or changes that are in this update the first one that i would like to show you is kind of uh, one that's on a negative and it's if we go to our system settings right here and then go to the wallpaper section you can see we have all the dynamics the landscape cityscapes water but if you go down a little bit right there you notice we have these which are for the macbook s but if you look all the way to the end under pictures you are seeing that we are missing the new added wallpapers that were available that had to do with the new Macs that came out that is the Pro Black MacBook Pro and the new iMac so for example right here you can see side by side the previous Mac OS 14.2 that these wallpapers were available we had the metallics we had the metallic pink and if you go all the way you can see we had the Pro Black that for the new macbook pro in black but now when you come to this section here there's really nothing and these have been removed it's not the first time it's happened before so i don't know why apple has done that hopefully within the next beta like beta 2 or something they'll bring these back now also something that i would like to show you that has been updated slightly has to do with safari so if we go to the about version on safari right here you can see the version has been incremented before on mac os 14.2 the version was safari 17.2 but now with this mac os 14.3 the version has been updated to safari version 17.3 with this build number that you see right here i'm not sure what it is exactly that they are trying to patch or fix but it's good to see that yes they are focusing on safari maybe trying to make webkit more secure if you open up your music right here and you go to where it says playlist right there if you click like or right click here where my cursor is and say new playlist you can create a new smart playlist or new playlist folder but if you go there and say new playlist right there or you press command n you can give your playlist a title for example we we'll say mac os for this one 
and we'll create uh, we can choose to have it show in profile and in search but for now we'll create this right here and you can see it's now available here and under this section you can see we can choose music that I can add so for example if we add this one and then we'll add like this song these are like recommended but I can always search songs and then add them but you see this button here that's on this section if I click on it it says invites friends invite friends to join anyone with the link will be able to add delete and reorder songs now if you are uh, if you say start collaborating it will give you the option to copy a link and anyone with the link can basically start to collaborate with you on your playlist but if you want to approve them before they auto join with the link then you can enable this section so it's good to see that um, music playlist collaboration is here within the Apple music app if it's something that you were longing to use then you can basically be able to use it when it comes to this now a bit of an unfortunate thing when it comes to the widgets because this is something a number of users are waiting for and it has to do with the music app or the music widget so most other Mac apps have actually widgets like the weather we got an amazing weather widget with Mac OS 14.2 that adds weekly view so if you go to the weather right there you can see we have different shapes and we have updated two new shapes here but then if you were to go to the M section you will see that music actually isn't available so these are it's in alphabetical order right here but you can see the Apple music here is not available and if we were to go to A there's no Apple music app so uh, as of this recording on macOS 14.3 beta 1 there is no widget yet for the Apple music app it would be nice to have it in the background and as you are doing tasks you just click next or instead of having to go to your control center and then control it right here you can be able to see more information depending on the size of the widget that you want to basically add now speaking of music you probably know this but if you go into your system preferences right there and then you go to where it says control center right here and you go a bit down you can see there's this section that says music recognition now this is already existing but since it has to do with music and if you want to use your Mac to be able to listen to different music you can basically add Shazam if you want to add it to your menu bar you can add it there or if you want to add it to your control center like I have right there you can enable that and then you can see Shazam is right here and when there's a music that you want to listen to you click on it and it will give you or basically give you a history and the current song that you are trying to Shazam or identify now that's something that's good now basically when it comes to this update Apple hasn't really said much and in fact if we go to the release page for Mac OS 14.3 the beta and go to the release notes Apple hasn't yet updated for this page yet and at the same time if we were to go to the this application the feedback assistant app you can see I don't have anything that pertains to Mac OS 14.3 so for now this is what we have when it comes to Mac OS 14.3 it is an update that's going to be in beta for a while and um, I would expect probably the final release of Mac OS 14.3 closer to the end of January next year or early February next year because December the last two weeks of December Apple usually takes those off so that's about it for me guys if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video pretty soon